Today's a pretty big day in the Pokemon TCG. There is a bunch of new products being released. We have a bunch of them here today. These are the brand new stacking tins and they got a bunch of really popular Pokemon on them. I really don't know what packs are inside yet either. So let's open up all these tins, see what we can pull. Tin number one here features Umbreon on the side. We got a Obstagoon or Glarian Obstagoon, I believe. We have the uh, Zor Zorua, Hasuian Zorua and, or Zorua, just a regular version and this really creepy pumpkin Pokemon. That, that, that thing is crazy. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to cop any of these cards you see today, like any of these tins, uh, check out the friends over at Manta Trading and use code SneakerTalkTCG to get 5% off. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little tin battle right here of three tins. Let's see what we're able to pull. I like the Umbreon side the most, so let's just look at the Umbreon and here we go. Let's see what we have inside. And they've done these tins before, but these are new colors and new packs, I believe. So, three packs inside, and then a no coin. Okay, so, you need a really nice container. Like, this is a pretty solid container for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't lock on super, super tight at the top, but it should get the job done. And then the packs inside are... Ooh, okay. Oh, there's a coin. I knew there was a coin included. So, we got a Zera or, Zera or a coin here as well. Three packs included. We have a Lost Origin, we have Chilling Rain, and another Lost Origin. So let's open up these three packs right now for Team uh, Team Umbreon, you could say for the blue tin. And the previous tins they did were like a green, a yellow, and a blue. So if you guys wanna see that video, I'll leave it linked down below and you guys can check it out and see what the differences are. Uh, but yeah, these tins don't come in at a super, super expensive price point. I think they're 1349, yeah, 1350 plus tax Canadian, which is like 10 bucks US, you get three packs inside. And uh, yeah, shout out to Manta for for uh, being the spot you can buy these from. Again, code sneaker talk TCG. And uh, let's see what we're able to get out of this first pack of Lost Origin. We got Roserade, Gligar, Poliwag, a Phalanx, Love Disc, Oddish, the weed Pokemon, Poliwhirl, and a Poliwrath. Interesting. All right, cool. It's also uh, it also goes from the uh, the water Pokemon to the fighting type of Poliwrath. Very very cool. If you want to stick with the full lineup of water Pokemon, there's a Politoed in the set, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we got the whole lineup right there. That's pretty cool. Second pack of Lost Origin, and can we pull that Giratina Altar? That is the big big chase card. We pretty much just need the pull from this set. I know a lot of you guys. Haven't been able to pull it out there. It's a very, very hard card to pull. I think it's like one in a thousand packs are your chances of getting it. Like it's, it's very, very slim. All right, Mawile, Gumi, Gligar, Poliwag, Ducklets, and a Honchkrow, Chilling Rain to get into. Can we pull the alternate art Galarian Moltres V? That piece of uh, cardboard is very, very expensive. And it really is a piece of art. I would probably get that graded or just put it in a frame or something like that. I would never use it in an actual deck. All right, cast form. Cast form again, not a cast form. A Golette, Clubopus, Reverse Hollow Flaffy, and a Malamar. All right, so that first tin wasn't the best, but uh, we do get this nice tin, this nice container at the end of the day. All right, what's next? We have the orange tin or a brown tin. It's like a more of a brown, honestly, and it has a bunch of ground Pokemon. We have the Cubone right here. We got Lycanroc, I believe. We also have Galarian Farfetch and uh, Mindfu. Yeah, I think it's Mindfu. So I'm curious if it's gonna be the exact same packs. So let's just open this up. And I gotta say, I like the Pokemon they chose for these tins compared to the last stacking tins. But the really cool thing is you can stack these tins. You know, that, that's what they're called, the stacking tins, the Pokemon stacking tins. So if you wanna display them in any kind of way that you want, uh, vertically, you know, it looks really good. So let's see what we're able to get out of this tin. What's the pack selection? Let's find out. I am expecting them to all be the same though. And we got the coin in here as well. Will it be the exact same coin? Did they put the same coin in all of them? No, they didn't. We got an Eevee coin right here. Look, you can see myself in the coin. But there you go, I got the Eevee coin, so that's pretty cool. And we got three packs. It is the same exact packs. So, two packs of Lost Origin, one pack of Chilling Rain. And by the way, we're also gonna open up uh, four extra booster packs after the Charizard tin. So stick around for that. We might be able to pull some extra heat, but uh, let's start off with the Chilling Rain here for the brown tin. I'm cheering for the fire tin. That's uh, that's my pretty obvious choice. 
But if the blue tin had like uh, Blastoise on it, I would have cheered. I would have cheered for that one. But here we go. We have an Electric Energy, Porygon 2, Corellia, Scroll of Skies, a Quill, 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 Quillfish, Weedle, Clubopus, Moreep, Weeding Gloves, and a nice, a Shatterider, Calyrax V Ultra Rare. So our very first hit of the day. Very, very happy with that. One of the most playable cards in Chilling Rain. And believe it or not, at one point in time, you know, Shadow Rider Calyrax V Max, the big brother of the uh, the V version we just pulled, used to be worth like 20 to 25 Canadian. Like it used to be one of the best cards in the game for a while when Chilling Rain was out uh, at its like very, very early release. Ooh. All right, so we got an upside down V Star marker. An Iskan, Dotler, Panic Mask, a Binnacle, Ghastly, Electrike, Bronzor, Sudowoodo, Seedra, and a Bruh. Honchcrow again. We keep getting this non hollow Honchcrow. You hate to see it. All right, so we got one more pack left for the second tin. We got the God of War art right here to rep the amazing, or not, not the amazing rare, the Radiant rare. Dude, I miss amazing Pokemon. Like the actual type of amazing cards. I like Radiant Pokemon a lot too though. So I'm happy they at least have Radiant Pokemon. But I really do miss Amazing Pokemon. Amazing Rare Pokemon. They should have made more of them. But here we go. Psychic Energy. Electric. Swana. Gloom. Litleo. Mindfu. Shellos. Metatite eating a berry. Ooh, yummy. Horsey. Ooh, a Trainer Gallery. Spiritomb. And... Ah, Galarian Perserker V. All right, so we got two pulls or two, three, basically. Yeah, we got three hits out of that. That was definitely the better tin. Okay, so the blue tin is eliminated from chances of winning. The Shadow Rider Calyrex V is nice. Galarian Perserker V and the Spirit Tomb from the Trainer Gallery. A very spooky pull just in time for Halloween. Before we get to the fire tin, let's open up the three packs of battle styles that I have, or four actually. And then we're gonna get into the last tin, which features Charizard. You, you already know that is gonna be the tin that sells out out of all three of them. I wanna get to the common question of the day, which is your favorite tin out of these three? Do you like the fire tin that has Charizard, a Victini, a, I uh, forget that one. And a uh, score bunny. Yeah, do you like the red tin? Do you like the brown tin featuring the fighting Pokemon and ground Pokemon? Or do you like the uh, the blue tin featuring some dark Pokemon? A bunch of dark Pokemon there. I'm uh, obviously have to go with the red tin as I mentioned earlier because he got the Zard on it. But uh, that's what it looks like when you stack the tins too. It's, it's really nice. Let's open up these four packs of battle styles real quick. And uh, these packs came from a booster box that we were opening up. Uh, and giving away a bunch of free packs to uh, people in chat and on and uh, in the comment sections of my videos. Uh, so yeah, we do streams on Sundays now. So if you guys want to tune in, uh, our next stream is going to be, I believe, 7.30 to 8.30 Eastern on Sunday. Uh, just a one hour stream uh, or 6.30 to, yeah, 6.30 to 7.30 uh, because I'm going to be going to volleyball on Sunday night. I'm, I've been playing some weekly volleyball. I played volleyball twice this week at a gym, uh, like a private gym. So, uh, so yeah. Having fun getting back into volleyball. Used to play a ton when I was in junior high. And now that I'm, you know, older, there aren't too many opportunities where sports are like just there. So you gotta put yourself out there and, and try out uh, try out some places. Next pack of battle styles. We got a fire energy, rapid strike energy, EXP share, Karkle, Lickitung, Zubat, Remoraid, and Onyx, Mawile, Indeedee. A Colossal Hollow Rare. All right, all right, not bad. I'll take the Colossal Hollow Rare. We got two packs of Battle Styles, and then on to the Fire Tin, the Charizard Tin. Yeah, I, yeah, those are those are gonna sell out. I have to say the pack selection is decent. Two Lost Storage. Oh, I just dropped it all, but we got a good card. We got the Spoink Reverse Hollow and a Empoleon V. And this card is very, very good. If you used to have Empoleon V and you were like, the value of it's pretty low, it's gone up now for sure uh, because people are playing it in a lot of decks, especially in Palkia decks or Palkia Kyurem decks because this card is a direct counter to the Comfy Engine and pretty much any uh, any card that doesn't have a rule box that has an ability. It turns off the abilities. It's like Path to the Peak, except it's a Pokemon and uh, it's a, it's a Empoleon, <laughs> which is pretty cool. One more pack of battle styles before the Charizard tin. And uh, unfortunately, in the Charizard tin, there are zero packs inside. Actually, no, you can pull a tra Trainer Gallery Charizard. What am I thinking? I was gonna say you can't pull a single Charizard in any of the packs, but there is a Charizard Trainer Gallery card in Lost Origin. 
So we have two chances of pulling that. A Mindfu, Yamper, two cards at once, Zubat, and a Victini VMAX. All right, I'll take another uh, hit right there. We got the Victini VMAX. Okay, on to the last tin of the video. And again, make sure you answer the comment question of the day because there's gonna be a special giveaway I'm announcing in the upcoming video, you're not gonna wanna miss. So here is a look at the tin with Charizard on the side. It is really, really nice. I love this art for Charizard, it looks great. We got the score bunny there as well. I think her name, or its name is Brixen. I'm not too sure, and Victini. So, what packs are inside? I think it's pretty obvious, but let's find out. And the, the, the coin, there's also a coin too. So, the coin is a score bunny coin, okay. So it is themed. We have a fire type Pokemon from that fire type tin. And now, what are the packs? We have the exact same packs. So two packs of a Lost Origin and then one pack of Chilling Rain. So let's start off with the uh, Chilling Rain and then maybe pull the Charizard out of the Lost Origin booster packs. That would be pretty nice, not gonna lie. With Silver Tempest coming out very, very soon. There's even the pre-release weekend happening at Manta, which I'll be attending. I think they're gonna run a couple tournaments. Uh, check your local game shops. They might have a pre-release event as well. Uh, it's definitely a really good place to learn how to play and, and get your get your, get your your fix on the new cards. I'm actually gonna be bringing one of my best friends, Robert, uh, to that event. It's gonna be his first ever Pokemon tournament and Pokemon event, so hopefully he has a good time. I'll be documenting and vlogging it, of course. You guys have been loving the vlogs. Galarian Slowking, vibing right there. And a Malamar Rapid Strike. Okay, on to the next two packs and the last two packs of the video, Lost Origin. And I'm actually going to be opening up uh, the Hisuian Zorark V box next after this video. So if you guys want to, you know, go on a little binge watching uh, series, we, we have a bunch of stuff on the channel being uploaded this weekend. It's gonna be a busy week. It's a busy, busy week. We got the Charizard box coming out too. The Sui and Growlithe, Rumple, and a Cramorant. This card is really good though. Take it out of your block. This card is nasty in play uh, for those Lost Zone decks. I don't think it's worth too much, but you do need it. Uh, you will be needing it if you're gonna use any Lost Zone kind of engine deck. All right, next card is going to be, uh, I, I didn't look at the code card. I'm not gonna look, here we go. Last pack magic, we got a Grass Energy, Obama Snow, Obama, a Bat and Bepom, Cascoon, Shellos, Shuppet with its tongue out, Horsey, Lick a Tongue with its tongue out, Clefairy, NK, and a, ooh, a Stone Joiner. All right, if you guys like this video, click on screen right now to watch the other stacking tin video that we, uh, we did a couple of months ago and uh, maybe another video that I just opened up a product of this weekend. I'll catch you guys in one of those videos. Peace out.